Um, can you draw a Venn diagram? Do you know what a Venn diagram is? I didn't know, but in Spanish you actually do it. You know, the Venn diagram, I was saying, um, is with a, with a B. B, bravo. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the B for Bravo, not not V. Ben. For ben. Ben. The drama Ben. That's what you start yeah, to, to I'm learning your maths with. Yeah. Yeah. It's like so something I've missed out on in maths. That's what the festival is doing. <laughs> can you draw a Venn diagram? Is it is it a maths <laughs> thing? Yeah. Very well, but can you draw a Venn diagram? <laughs> 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 What is Ven? What is Ven? I don't know. It's some, some, it's some, it's some different things. I'm putting on the last of my posters. Yeah, I keep seeing the posters about it. See here, the Ven poster. What is Ven? Ven is a collection of promoters, isn't it? Yeah, it's organised by friends and they overlap like a big giant Venn diagram. What is Venn? Venn is the reason for a friend. Friend. Is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I just yeah. want to watch the Venn documentary. So, if you could get down to get your tickets early, you might want to, but you should be alright. What is Venn? Yeah. That's <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, wow, that's pretty hard. I don't know if I can sum it up. It's got lots of different things. There's going to be quite a lot of stuff happening. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. Food? Food. Yeah. Drink not a lot, but there will be some food. I got a lot of bread. I find food. Bye. There's a bit of everything. Sessions, picnics, pubs, workshops. Workshops. And workshops. Yeah. It's got lots of different things. It's got lots of different places. All over town. <laughs> um, which direction is Ven? That way and that way as well. In the bell. Ven mm. at the Wesley Chapel. Mm. At the Blue Mountain. Cafe Kino. Craft. The Gear Gallery. The Casablanca. St. George's. St. George's. Yeah. In the Cube Cinema. Ven. And the Mountain Centre. And there's also the Tracy. Then yes. in all these different places. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a ton of venues. And oh. some of these overlap. So <laughs> yeah, we can get a tiny bit of footage in every performance, but just a tiny bit. Things clash and can't be overlap. The crew is U3. A different documentary perspective, so. That's a good thing. Triangulation. Yeah, because I mean, I am very interested in a very specific thing. I want to interview the pop star. We get what we get. There's an overlap. Now. Tell me. What is Ven? What is Ven? Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's a it's a, a music festival. It's a festival, is it? Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Many things are like Ven. No, I don't. A different festival, I guess. It's slightly strange and all the better for it. Enjoyed it thoroughly. We didn't really know what the festival was about until we got here. We still don't really know. You have to think. Yeah. Ben is wonderful. I do love Ben. Ben is amazing. I, I think it's ace. I'm very pleased that Ben exists. Oh, yeah. It's brilliant. It's breathtaking. I love it. Ben's the best festival in the country. Really? Yeah, easily. Thank you. Yeah. I want to say cheers, Bristol. Events happen three times. Cheers. It slowly metamorphosizes. Even more eclectic than last year. And I miss Friday. Saturday it was quite a roller coaster. Top idea putting it all in venues instead of hiring loads of shanky toilets and taking it out to film. Like, yeah, good idea. All week, uh, weekends. Wow. The whole city turned into a big sort of hippie commune overnight. It's the age of Ven. I suppose the spirit of Ven is surprising. <laughs> it's 
surprising audiences and trying to keep them on their toes. I think the main purpose of it is the music that you can be able to uh, listen to usually. Never heard them before, but brilliant, brilliant. Surprising. Surprising. <laughs> and the gown acoustic the front of the Wow, it's it's right out. Yeah. Stop sitting in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I thought it was a, I thought it was a, a mashup case, but it wasn't. Brilliant. Who, who's been brilliant, the best? Brilliant. Brilliant. Best thing has been Oren Marshall. My name's Oren Marshall. We're discussing if it was a, a guitar and a tuba or a drum machine and a tuba. Yeah. 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 One man and his tuba. Insane. Whilst just yeah. one man yeah. and his tuba. I had no idea about yeah. Team, Team Rick. Rick. Hi Matt. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. I've seen Bricky many times and Still every time it. it's completely different. I've just seen Team Brick play one of the best sets I've ever seen him play. He's yeah. anarchy in a body. It was really like and he's doing that like, throat singing and everything. And it was all noisy. I, I missed the very start of it, so he might have done something even better at the beginning. It was like a one-man phantom. It was amazing, yeah. I mean he was he was he didn't stop. Yeah. At all. If you were to have a threesome yeah. with a musical threesome with somebody, who would it be with? Um, Mike Patton and Bjork. Who? Cool. Mike Patton and Bjork. Louder. Mike Patton okay. and Bjork. Because uh, I ripped them off. I think I owe them or something. Looking forward to Vialka. I might check out um, Asteroids as well. We're going to see you later, aren't we? Because you're interviewing Vialka. Yes. Six o'clock here, okay? Nervous about <laughs> Hi, we're Vialka. <laughs> Welcome to Bristol. We're going everywhere, in every sense. It's very chaotic. It's always different and we don't have any rules. Real enigmatic performers. How, how do you feel about the, the, the rise of two-piece bands in general? It's because people are becoming more and more antisocial. I think it, it's part of a thing that people are more and more fragmented. Do you think that's going to lead to more people playing music on their own then? Oh sure, that's the next step. Mm. Solo projects. Do you think that that might dissolve bands in the future? I'd say it probably already does. I tend to disagree about this. I think it, uh, uh, making a band is a story between people.